Hello, my name is Frank Christensen and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFAF Europe. Today we're looking at defensive holding. We'll look at some plays where defensive holding was called correctly or should have been called. And then we'll look at a few plays where there just isn't enough for a defensive holding call. But first, let's have a look at what the rule book and the manual have to say. In the rule book, we go to rule 934, where article 4A says, defensive players may use hands and arms to push, pull, ward off, or lift offensive players when attempting to reach the ball carrier or simulated ball carrier, or when dealing with, with offensive players who are obviously attempting to block them. So it is actually legal for defensive players uh, to commit holding in these uh, situations. And then it goes on to say, when making no attempt to get at the ball or the ball carrier or simulated ball carrier, defensive players must comply with rules 933. And 933 is the one dealing with offensive holding. So if not uh, in, in relation to situation one and, and two, defensive players are uh, restricted the same way that offensive players are. As for the MOFO, uh, we go to 332 dealing with defensive holding. Uh, downfield on, on pass, um, it, uh, the point of attack is everywhere. Uh, and basically a foul on eligible receivers can occur anywhere. Always call fouls that prevent the passer from throwing the ball and lead to a sack. So basically what we're looking for here is, is, is effect on the play. So you see the holding uh, by, your, by your key, you look into uh, potentially the, uh, the pocket. If you see the, uh, uh, the quarterback then gets sacked, then we have a defense holding that we want to, to call. Uh, so holding should be called, uh, F goes on to say, uh, but not where the offensive player is too far away from the way, uh, from the play to become involved. So again, we're, we're looking at this uh, impact on the play and effect on the play. And, and finally, G says, defensive holding should not be called for contact that occurs after the pass is thrown to the opposite side of the field. However, if the foul occurs anywhere while the quarterback still has the ball and is looking to pass, then call it. So basically, you know, we're, we're looking for that effect on the play. You see the holding, if the quarterback is still looking to pass, then, uh, and he can't pass it because his receiver is being held, then we have a holding. If, if you see the hold, you look in and the quarterback has already started running or, or is, is in the process of, of throwing the ball to a different receiver, then, then we can let it go and, and deal with it as a talk to. So that was the book. Now let's have a look at some game film. In this first clip, we're looking at the defender B5 right there uh, to the right of the umpire. And he's going to grab an offensive player and pull him down. This is a defensive holding. And if we look at right here is where it happens and the quarterback is still in the pocket. So this is one that we would want called as a defensive holding. Here we're looking at the nearest receiver who is going to be held right there. So we see this is clearly a, a hold, a grab. And if we look at the timing, right here is where it happens. And you look at the quarterback, he is still in the pocket. He's still trying to find somebody. Now he actually has to scramble because, at least in part, because of this holding. So this is one that we would want to have called. Again, we're looking at the nearest receiver and his cornerback, and there is there is some restriction there. So if we look at the timing, right now he's being restricted, and we look back, the quarterback is still in the pocket, and here comes the pass, even though it's not to him uh, the player being held this is still a defensive holding while the quarterback is in the pocket looking around so again this is another one that we would want to have called for defensive pass interference 
once again we're looking at the closest receiver and he is being held here he's not being given a free release or or a, a, a good release off of the defender b21 and if we look at the timing right now here is the holding at least here is where it starts and the quarterback is still in the pocket so again we have uh, we have all the uh, elements that we want for this to be called a defensive holding. This last example goes to the running back. So he's going to go out in the flat. He's going to get held right there. And the ball is even going to go towards the running back. And unfortunately, we missed this call. But this certainly is one that we would want called for a defensive holding. Uh, in terms of who should see this, uh, the wing certainly would have a stake in, in looking at the quarterback or the uh, the running back coming out of the backfield. Uh, maybe even the, the the deep wing might have a chance also, depending on on the rest of the formation. But certainly, certainly the wing would would be responsible and this would have been good to have as a defensive holding and now we'll move on to a couple of plays where we don't want defensive holding called in this example we're looking at the h key which just in case you're wondering is this slot receiver right here and we're looking at the way that he is being contacted right there. So there's probably a grab of the shirt all the way across the field here, and that's most likely what the linesman uh, sees and calls on. However, if we look at the way he runs across the field, there really is no restriction at all. So we, we would rather have, uh, have one of the other, one of the previous uh, calls where this is simply not enough for defensive holding. We want more restriction in the way that he runs across the field and a shoulder dip or something that, that would indicate to us that he is being held. Here, it's simply not enough. Here, we're looking at the middle linebacker right here. And he is going to get blocked by one of the, I think the full bag right there. And what he does is he shits the blocker. So technically this would be defensive holding, but we don't want this called because he's simply trying to get rid of the blocker. And in any case, here's where it happens and the ball is already dead and we can't have a dead ball holding. So uh, several reasons not to call this uh, if this was to be called anything, we would have to go with some kind of an unnecessary roughness, which this is not. So again, this is not enough for defensive holding. In this last example, we're also looking at the nearest receiver. And as you can see, he is definitely being held. His upper body moves around, the shoulder dips, uh, there's even a shirt stretch. Uh, but if we look at the timing of it, so right now is he, he's being held, but the quarterback is rolling out to the other side. He is getting ready to throw the ball and here. The ball is in the air. So from a timing perspective, uh, we're using the, uh, the MoFo philosophy that this is one of the ones that we can deal with with a talk to. We would not want uh, a flag on the ground for defensive holding on this play.